a surprisingly difficult morning and I am exhausted and um, a little bit sad. So we're going for a walk in the sunshine, yay. Anyways, we're going to the basement. Knocked out this battery, we're gonna throw it on the charger for 15 hours and then we can ride the motorcycle again. I'm stuck in the elevator again, which means we gotta reach back here. Where is it? There it is. Come on. Come on. Why the heck isn't it working? That's not creepy at all, right? All right, so this happens all every time it's cold. And so here I am with my charging stuff right next to my wall outlet and my, so my battery can be plugged in. I don't know if I put the positive on first or the negative on first. I hope I'm doing this right. But you know what? I don't know. And there's a 50-50 chance I'm fucking it up. Here we go. Ugh. Turn on. There we go. Oh. Oh, when it's green, it means it's good to go. I got excited for a second. I have been having problems getting my TV to work, right? Like, go to Netflix. This is the spinning wheel of doom. So this is worse than all day. I didn't actually know it was gonna do this. Normally, it takes me to my account. I can click on a show. The show information comes up. I click play and it just stays black. The screen just stays black. So it's not telling me that like my subscription hasn't been paid for. I need to change my credit card information. Like, it's good on my end it's bad on their end and now we have this so four weeks ago i was at the gas station swiped my card and i got scammed and they took one dollar 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 over and over and over and over again until midnight when my bank called me and was like hey we suspect fraud on your account are you buying things for one dollar one dollar at a time and i was like no so anyways all my money poof, disappeared. I had to go to the gas station. They had to do a police report, an insurance report. Like it was a whole situation. Um, I got a new card. And so it makes sense when things like the Netflix aren't working because they wouldn't have my new card number yet. Cause I forget all the places that I've entered my card for like automatic payments. So we're playing this fun game of waiting for things to tell me that they haven't been paid so I can change the number over. I'm sure there's a more responsible way to take care of that, but I don't know what it is. So, Netflix isn't working, my TV hasn't been working, the internet hasn't been working, um, my cell phone, I had to pay for a new one. So today, when I had to pay for my cell phone, because today's the due date, so I go to the website, punch it in, payment just loops me back to the front page again. Do it again, loops me back to the front page. I'm like, are these payments going through? Like, what's going on? So I call their helpline. Their helpline goes, yeah, call your card, your bank, because there's a problem with your card call my bank they go there's no problem we have no holds on anything we're not banning anything we're not declining anything we can see these two payments tried to go through and were declined by t-mobile so i'm actually on on the line or on the text line with t-mobile's help and i said hey they say it's a you problem and they go oh yeah we just looked into it it's a problem with our servers and i go what am i supposed to do like my phone bill is due today like you guys are gonna cut my service off if i don't pay my bill i'm trying to pay my bill but you won't take my money so they're gonna call me tomorrow on the phone they're cutting off to try to take payment again tomorrow after they fix their servers <sighs> tell me how that makes any sense so now i gotta get it we'll physically go into t-mobile and talk to a human so that's how my day's been going mm -hmm.